like a hell cut. Hello friends, today our topic is drain current equation. So basically, first we will see the graph. So first we will see the graph, second we will see the formula and third we will solve some sums. Alright, so let's start. So the first point was the graph. The graph is we have vertical axis as ID drain current, horizontal axis as VDS, voltage from drain to source. Now VGS means voltage from gate to source. Now you can see the graph is divided. So this area is the linear region. Whereas the area from here, all right, the whole area, you can see, let's say this area, the whole area is saturation. Now note carefully the area at this where VGS is less than equal to VTN this represents cutoff okay now let's see the formula for them so the second step is the formula to understand the formula first we will understand the flow flow is we have id now id can be equal to zero or it cannot be equal to zero cool when ID is equal to zero, this means that VGS is less than VTN. The input voltage has not crossed the threshold voltage to start a circuit. This means that current is not flowing. But when VGS input is greater than VTN, this means that it has crossed the threshold voltage of the circuit and now it is active. This means that, that the current is flowing. Cool. Now we can move further to get the linear and saturation. So basically this is the cutoff region. Now in linear and saturation the circuit will work. So what is the condition? Now when VGS is greater than VTN just minus the term VGS minus VTN. Okay. Now let's see what will happen here. We have VDS. Alright. Now when VDS is less than VGS minus VTN this term what will happen and when VDS is greater than VGS minus VTN. So according to the graph, if you remember, this was the graph. Now you can note that when VDS is less than VGS minus VTN is this area. This area was for linear. So this is the linear region and the formula for linear is ID is equal to KN by 2, 2 times VGS minus VTN minus VD, sorry, into VDS minus VDS square okay note this formula now when we talk about this is when VDS is greater than VGS minus VTN means this area for this the region is saturation so this is this condition is for saturation now the formula for this is so the formula for this is ID is equal to KN by 2 VGS minus VTN the whole square 1 plus lambda VDS so let's take a recap. First we have ID. Now ID is equal to 0 or it cannot be equal to 0. When ID is equal to 0, this means that the threshold voltage and VGS. VGS is less than threshold voltage. When we talk about ID is not equal to 0, means that the input voltage has crossed the threshold voltage. Now the circuit is in active mode. Now when the circuit is active, it can be in linear region or it can be in saturation region. To, for uh, identification of linear region, VDS should be less than VGS minus VTN but when VDS is greater than VGS minus VTN this means that it has exceeded and it is into the saturation mode so the formula are the respective okay now let's see the sums now our question is you can see we have NMOS where W by L is equal to 10 by 0 0.55 whereas uh, K dash N is equal to this value VGS, VDS, VTN are given so let's see how to solve this we have to find basically ID what is the drain current first we should know which formula we should use to know that we should know what is the region like linear region or saturation region so the first step is we have to find VGS minus VTN so 2 minus 0 0.7 so the answer is 1.3 volt second step 
what is vds vds is 2 volt now check vds is greater than vgs minus vtn this means it is in saturation now we can use happily the saturation current that is kn by 2 VGS minus VT and the whole square 1 plus lambda VDS. Now the question is we don't know lambda. Alright. We don't know KN. So let's solve that mystery. When lambda is not given, take it as 0. So this term has gone. Because 1 plus 0 is again 1. So this has reduced. Now the question is what is KN? Now it is important Kn is Kn dash alright into W by L. Now we have Kn dash we have W by L alright. Now let's put that in the formula. So we have K dash, uh, Kn dash that is 1 1 10 mu means into 10 raised to minus 6. Now into W by L is 10 by 0 0.55 VGS minus VTN means 1.3 the whole square. Now the answer for this is 3.3 .3 microampere. Now let's see second example. Now you can see our second example is NMOS is equal to some threshold voltage, some value of lambda, K and dash, W by L. Now the interesting is we don't have VGS, VDS, we have VD, VG and VS. Now the question is again ID is what? So let's solve that. The first question that comes in mind, where is VGS, where is VDS? Because if we don't have this, we cannot have equation of ID and we cannot have answer. So let's split the question. VGS means VG minus VS. VDS means VD minus VS. Now we can find VGS and VDS, right? VGS minus, uh, sorry, VGS is VG minus VS. This means 5 minus 2, that is 3. VDS is VD minus VS. This means 4 minus 2, that is 2. All right. Now you can compare and you can get the answer. First point you have to compare is VGS greater than VTN because if this is right then we can have linear and saturation and this means that I, I is not equal to 0. If this is less this means ID is equal to 0. So VGS is 3 and 3 is greater than 0 0.8. So yes ID is not equal to 0 you should know that. Second is we have to minus that VGS minus VTN and the value is VGS is 3 VTN is this so value is 1.2. Okay, sorry, it's 2.2. Uh, okay, now 2.2. Now let's check whether this value is uh, greater or less than VDS. VDS is 2. Alright, now 2 is less than 2.2. This means that VDS is less than VGS minus VTN. Now this condition when, sorry, uh, the symbol is less. Now when this condition is less, this means that this region is in linear. So we have to use linear equation of ID. Now what is the equation? That is the third step. ID is equal to Kn by 2, 2 times Vgs minus Vtn into Vds minus Vds square. Alright. Now you can see that Kn. Kn is not given. So you know that Kn is equal to K dash N into W by L. Both are given K, uh, Kn dash and W by L. So multiply them, you will get Kn. Kn is done. VGS we have. VGS is 3. VTN we have. VTN is 0 0.8. VDS, VDS we have. That is 2. So you will get the answer after substitution. And the answer is 0 0.96 MA. M means into 10 to power minus 3. So friends, if you like my video, then do like this video, share with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So we'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. This is Shrenik Jain. Peace out.